How familiar were you with the Alien franchise prior to being cast in the film? We all did our research and yeah. our homework. Yeah. Relati relatively familiar. I mean, it, for me, it was like a, you know, it's, it's a it's a it's a film of cinematic like in cinematic history. Like it's canon. So um, like that's how I I knew it. Yeah. yeah. Definitely one. I mean, <coughs> seen them growing up, but definitely one we had to go back and revisit to really mm. understand the world. Um, yeah, and the kind of lore of, of Alien and w what it means. So, you know, we have to kind of replicate what they had in those original films in our film, in a sense. Um, what about Alien Romulus do you think will resonate best with the audiences? I think if you're like a true fan of, especially, you know, the first two, uh, I think you're just going to love the movie. I think that Fede captured that very well. And it really does, you know, go, go back to those two. Mm. I think so. So I think they're just going to like it. But you know, if you're a true fan of Alien, like Fede himself is a is a massive fan. So yeah. yeah. And if you don't know the movie, it's all the better because then you get to experience it for the first time. And yeah. that this is a, quite a world that's been very well built to experience for yeah. the first time. Definitely going to be in some nostalgia for some people as well. There's some cool little nods. <laughs> Talking. How was it working with Fede Alvarez? And what are some fun stories from set? Um, well, <laughs> Fede's, I mean, I, d I just don't think it could have been in better hands, to be honest. I, he, he comes from it, he, he's coming at directing this film from being a real fan of the franchise. And I think he was always thinking about the fans because that's what he is. Um, mm. And so I think we all just had a lot of trust in him and I think we knew that we could lean on him and his instincts were going to be right. And um, so... So yeah, I, I think this is a really Fede Alvarez film and he really understands the sort of psychology behind horror and what makes things scary and is bringing it back to its roots. I think we've got to give him some, some love and some thanks for making it all practical for us. Mm. That, was, that, was, that was his choice. And <coughs> he made sure that everything was real and these sets were amazing. We got to spend like how many months? Five? Five months? Yeah, about five or six I think Keely <laughs> was just there for six. Yeah. Um, yeah, it made it like the experience of a lifetime. Do you have any fun stories that you guys remember? Fun stories. Fun is, a, fun is an interesting definition, isn't it? Because the fun one. No, it was no, it was. I mean, it was fun in the sense that you know we we were like we were making an alien film, like we're running around in like these corridors that are like <laughs> are amazing and like you know messing around with like face huggers, but um, offset we had probably like more of the regular kind of fun. <laughs> it was it was nice was nice a, to begin yeah. with, obviously. The, the the stakes haven't got that high yet, so you know when we're, we're on the ship and stuff. It, it, oh yeah, that, that was camaraderie. Cool. That we was cool, com yeah. Coming up with some yeah. like gags and stuff, yeah, yeah, yeah. which I'm not sure made the film, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was good fun. Yeah. And we did and we did make that bond, and it was it was great being. I think as well, together. like the stuff with us boys, like the, the 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 I think we all grew up on very very similar British comedy. Yeah. So we kind of bonded over that, which was nice. Yeah. Yeah, that was fun. I don't know if it made the film. We'll have to see. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. the, 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 it's there. You can feel it. You can feel yeah. it. Yeah, you can feel, feel it, it for sure. Yeah. Thanks, Benji. Love that. <laughs> Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thank, Thank you, you very, very much. much. What is it about the Alien films that continue to resonate with audiences? I think it's, it's the, those creatures. <laughs> it's just something at the creation of H.R. Giger and, and the first movie are just one of those things that no one knows how it happened, right? But it's really one of the most incredible monsters ever ever seen on screen, you know? And that, that's, there's aspect of those creatures that's just so terrifying, that are made of nightmares, you know, that, that's just so unique. Because they will, they will, you know, they will be, they're so effective 45 years ago like they are today. You know? Tell us about how you came up with the new storyline. What were your inspirations? Inspirations is all the other movies, you know, that, that was the privilege of making this film, that you can watch all these other movies made by all these masters of the genre, and then, so you can draw inspiration from them, draw ideas from them directly, but also, uh, up, up, you know, on top of them, build up new ones as well. Okay. I understand you wanted to use practical effects as much as possible. Mm -hmm. Why is that? Well, I think when it comes to horror, which was the whole goal with this movie, to really take it back to the roots of it, uh, just practical is always scarier. When you feel it, you can see that the actor is, first of all, interacting with the 
with the creature. And when you have some, a face hugger to someone's face, you, you know, it got to be real. When you have one jumping out of the water, it got to be real. So, um, and when it comes to the, the xenomorph, when you have those face to face encounters, you know, there's just nothing beats the practical. It's really, really hard to do. And uh, so, but everybody involved in the movie went along above and beyond to really make sure we, we did the hard way for the audience, right? What did Ridley Scott bring to the project as a producer? Well, obviously the first movie, which is not, is not little. Um, to have made that first movie, it's everything. But uh, but above you know, apart from that, he was really involved very step of the way from the when the moment we created he created the story, when he read the script, when he watched the first cut of the movie, he's always been super, you know really supportive, always involved and and um, and, 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 and and told me always to never un underestimate the audience, to really always elevate and never dump it down. He said so and so he he was he was the best producer one can ask for. Yeah.